Hello and welcome to the Innovation Games here at Sydney Olympic Park. This is part of National Science Week. My name's Lee Constable, I'm your host, science communicator and science commentator. And you're joining us just in time for the old classic aerodynamics trajectory and angles. To join us for that, we've got Rebecca over at Tom Wills Oval at the GWS Giants HQ. Let's head over. Hi, my name is Beck Beeson and I play for the GWS Giants. I play as a midfielder, but today I'll be kicking a few goals and working out a few different angles that I need to kick the footy on uh, in order to kick goals from different parts of the field. So first kick I'm going to show you is a drop punt. So you hold the ball straight up and down like this. Now I'm kicking it from about 20 metres out. So first thing I've got to think about is how I'm going to hold the ball. So it's usually straight up and down the line. Um, I take a bit of a run up, so I take a few steps forward before I kick it in order to get the ball over the person on the mark. When you play games like AFL, you're probably already taking into account things like trajectory and aerodynamics. Trajectory is the angle that the ball, or whatever it might be, is moving through the air. Aerodynamics takes into account all those things that make something move smoothly, or maybe have a bit of drag which holds them back in the air. That's something engineers need to take into account when they're designing aircraft, like an aeroplane. They need to design the end of the aeroplane so that it slices nicely through the air to give you a smooth ride. Now you might be thinking, what else is kind of like that? Well, what about an AFL ball? Now I'm going to kick a drop punt for goal from a little bit further out. So I'll still hold the ball the same way, but I might make my run up a little bit longer and I'll get a bit more force through the ball. So I'll swing my leg a little bit uh, harder and try to kick the ball a little bit higher. So now I'm going to kick a drop punt for goal from the boundary line, so the angle's quite tight. So I'm going to aim for something in the background and try and focus on it, try and keep my body nice and steady um, and make sure I still kick through the ball nice and firm. Now one of the things AFL players like Beck have to be really good at is kicking the ball through the goal post no matter where they find themselves on the field. If you're at the side, of the goalposts, you might have a smaller angle or more acute angle. That means you've got a tighter space to get the ball through those goalposts. Now from the same spot, I'm going to try kick a goal, but instead of a drop punt, I'm going to try and do a banana. So instead of holding the ball like this, I'm going to hold the ball on its side and I'm going to try kick the ball here. So when I kick it, it spins nicely into the goal. Now Beck used the word banana. It's called that for a reason, and that's because you might have guessed its trajectory is on a bit of a bend, just like a banana. This can be hugely helpful because if you're on a small angle to the goals, you want to give yourself a little bit of extra wriggle room. So by going around on a bend, you can get yourself that little bit of extra space that might make a difference on the scoreboard. That's something that you can have a go at whether you're at school or at the local park. Grab a footy and see if you can try out some of those different trajectories to score a goal.